Hi friends, welcome to the channel The Nerds. Here we are discussing about ENT questions and answers. In that, we are here discussing about mainly ear. Nose and throat we will discuss in other videos. So here we are discussing about ear. So ear is divided into three parts. First is external ear, the second is middle ear, third one is internal ear. So external ear is mainly composed of pinna that is the external visible part and external auditory canal. The mid middle and external ear is separated by eardrum and middle ear composed of three ossicles that is malleus, ingus, stapes and then internal ear inner ear inner ear is mainly composed of semilunar canals and cochlea so we can see what are the questions so we can go to screen so question starts now first question true about tympanic membrane attached to oval window forms an angle of 55 degrees with the external auditory canal Quadrate tympani nerve passes through passa tensa. Cone of light forms an anterior superior quadrant. True about tympanic membrane. The correct answer is forms an angle of 55 degrees with the external auditory canal. Forms an angle of 55 degrees with the external auditory canal. Tympanic membrane, also called eardrum. Thin layer of tissue in the human air that receives sound vibration from the outer air and transmits them to auditory ossicles which are tiny bones in the tympanic cavity. Tympanic membrane also called eardrum. Thin, air of thin layer of tissue in the human ear that receives sound vibration from the outer air and transmits them to auditory ossicles which are tiny bones in tympanic cavity. Here is uh, given the tympanic membrane in red color this one is tympanic membrane so which connects to middle ear ossicles then inner ear next question length of eustachian tube length of eustachian tube 24 millimeter 36 millimeter 46 millimeter 26 millimeter Correct answer is 36 millimeter. Length of eustachian tube is 36 millimeter. The eustachian tube is a canal that connects the middle ear to nasopharynx. The eustachian tubes that connects the middle ear to nasopharynx, which consists of upper throat and the back of the nasal cavity. Nasopharynx consists of upper throat and the back of the nasal cavity. It controls the pressure within the middle ear making it equal with the air pressure outside the body. It controls the pressure within the middle ear making it equal with the air pressure outside the body. So that is the main function of eustachian tube to control air pressure with external air pressure. Next question. Sense organ of hearing is Sense organ of hearing is organ of corte Criste, macula, none of. Correct answer is organ of corte. The organ of corte is the sensitive element in the inner ear and can be thought of as the body's microphone. It is situated on the basilar membrane in one of the three compartments of the cochlea. It is situated on the basilar membrane in one of the three compartments of cochlea. So the organ of corte is the sensitive element in the inner ear and can be thought of as body's microphone. Next question. Not included in bony labyrinth. Not included in bony labyrinth. Cochlea, semicircular canal, organ of corte, vestibule. The correct answer is organ of corte. The bony labyrinth also osseous labyrinth or otic capsule is the rigid bony outer wall of the inner ear in the temporal bone. It consists of three parts, vestibule, semicircular canal and cochlea. These are the 
these are cavities hollowed out of the substance of the bone and lined by periosteum. The bony labyrinth is the rigid bony outer wall of the inner ear in the temporal bone. It consists of three parts, vestibule, vestibule, semicircular canals and cochlea. These are cavities hollowed out the substance of the bone and lined by periosteum. Next question, endolymph is present in, endolymph is present in scala media, scala vestibule, scala tympani, cochlear aqueduct. Correct answer is scala media. Endolymph is the fluid contained in the membrane, membranous labyrinth of the inner ear. It is also called scarpa's fluid after Antonio Scarpa. It is also called scarpa's fluid because which is discovered by Antonio Scarpa. So next question, ceruminous glands present in the ears are, ceruminous glands present in the ears are modified eccrine gland, modified apocrine gland, mucous glands, modified halocrine gland. The correct answer is modified apocrine glands. The ceruminous glands in the skin of the human external auditory canal are modified apocrine gland which together with sebaceous glands produce the cerumen that is ear wax. The ceruminous glands in the skin of the human external auditory canal are modified apocrine glands which together with the sebaceous gland produce the cerumen that is ear wax. Cerumen plays an important role in the protection of the ear canal against physical damage and microbial invasion. Cerumen plays an important role in the protection of ear canal against physical damage and microbial invasion. So next question, what is the color of normal tympanic membrane? What is the color of normal tympanic membrane? Purely white, gray, yellow, red. Correct answer is purely white. Next question, surface area of the tympanic membrane, surface area of the tympanic membrane, 55 mm square, 70 mm square, 80 mm square and 90 mm square. The correct answer is 90 mm square but the answer is a little confusing so you need to check it. Next question, cone of light is seen in which part of the tympanic membrane? Cone of light is seen in which part of tympanic membrane? Anterior superior quadrant, posterior superior quadrant, anterior superior quadrant, posterior superior quadrant. Correct answer is anterior inferior quadrant. In otoscopy, the most reliable sign is the in otoscopy, the most reliable sign is lateral process of malleus, handle of malleus. Umbo, cone of light. Correct answer is lateral process of malleus. Here, like this only, it will show in you know, uh, otoscopy. So, this is a lateral process of the malleus. This will show in auto otoscopy. Next question What is the type of joint in ear ossicles? What is the type of joint in ear ossicles? Fibrous joint, primary cartilaginous, secondary cartilaginous, synovial joint. Correct answer is synovial joint. Next question. Inner ear is present in which bone? Inner ear is present in which bone? Parietal bone, petrous part of temporal bone, occipital bone, petrous part of squamosal bone. Correct answer is petrous part of temporal bone. The petrous part of also called pyramid is the part of temporal bone which houses the inner ear. The petrous part it is also called pyramid is a part of temporal bone which houses the inner ear. Next question. Stapes foot plate covers. Stapes foot plate covers round window, oval window, inferior sinus tympani, pyramid. Correct answer is oval window. The stapes is sometimes removed due to autosclerosis or autospongiosis. The foot plate of the stapes attaches to the oval window that leading to inner canal, inner ear. 
the stapes is sometimes removed due to otosclerosis or otospogiosis the food plate of the stapes attaches to oval window that leading to inner ear next question organ of corte is situated in organ of corte is situated in scala media scala tympani scala vestibule semicircular canal the correct answer is scala media the organ of corte surrounded in potassium rich fluid endolymph lies on the basilar membrane at the base of the scala media under the organ of corte is the scala tympani and above it the scala vestibuli the organ of corte is surrounded in potassium rich fluid endolymph lies on the basilar membrane at the base of the scala media under the organ of corte is the scala tympani and above it the scala vestibuli next question endolymph is present in endolymph is present in bony labyrinth scala media scala vestibule scala tympani correct answer is scala media next question fetus can start hearing by which time of intrauterine life fetus can start hearing by which time of intrauterine life 14 weeks 20 weeks 32 weeks 33 weeks correct answer is 20 weeks next question normal threshold of hearing in young adult is normal threshold of hearing in young adult is 0 decibel 10 decibel 20 decibel 30 decibel the correct answer is 0 decibel but practically it is not possible because that much of uh, calm environment is required normally 15 decibel is required to hear next question bones of the middle ear are responsible for which of the following bones of the middle ear are responsible for which of the following amplification of sound reduction of sound intensity protecting the inner ear reduction of in impedance to sound transmission correct answer is amplification of sound next question all are causes of sensory sensory neural hearing loss except all are causes of sensory neural hearing loss except old age cochlear otosclerosis loud noise rupture of tympanic membrane correct answer is rupture of tympanic membrane next question virus causing acute sensory neural hearing loss virus causing acute sensory neural hearing loss options corona virus mumps virus adenovirus rota virus correct answer is mumps virus next question according to who definition of hearing loss profound degree of hearing loss is at according to who definition of hearing loss profound degree of hearing loss is at 61 to 75 decibel more than 80 decibel more than 90 decibel more than 100 decibel correct answer is more than 80 decibel next question commonest cause of hearing loss in children is commonest cause of hearing loss in children is chronic separative otitis media acute separative otitis media acoustic neuroma otitis media with effusion correct answer otitis media with effusion it is causing commonest cause cause of the hearing loss in children next question commonest cause of deafness is commonest cause of deafness is trauma wax acute mastoiditis minius disease correct answer is minius disease next question prolonged exposure to noise level greater than the following can impair hearing permanently prolonged exposure to noise level greater than the following can impair hearing permanently 40 decibel 85 decibel 100 decibel 140 decibel correct answer 100 decibel next question frequency of tuning fork mostly used in ent is frequency of tuning fork mostly used in ent is 256 hertz 512 hertz 1024 hertz 2048 hertz correct answer 512 hertz in clinical practice the 512 hertz tuning fork has traditionally been preferred 
at this frequency it provides the best balance of time of dawn decay and tactile vibration at this frequency it provides the best balance of balance time of dawn decay and tactile vibration so questions and here thank you for watching this video please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel dinners thank you